All right, we're going for a solo Panther victory in custom packs today. Not something that was really on my radar until RevGT put out a video where he was going for a solo pet win. And he personally attacked me by saying that people don't go for solo pet wins anymore. Uh, that was pretty tough to take. So I've got the bit between my teeth and here we go with the, the Panther attempt. Now, Panther, like I said, it wasn't really on my radar, but I guess it makes sense if you think about it. Level 3 Panther is going to quadruple the effectiveness of any perk, which means that we can basically resurrect the old version of Lemon, which was incredibly good for solo pet runs. It's uh, old Lemon if, you, if you've if you started playing the game since they made the update. The previous version of Lemon was essentially just double garlic. So every hit you reduced it by 4 damage. Uh, it, at level 1, Panther will already be getting the old lemon effect from garlic. And at level 3, it will be uh, 8 damage reduction from every hit. Which is kind of insane really when you think about it. The problem is just getting it to level 3 and getting it to 50-50 stats because we're going to be sending it out by itself. So I get the Panther here on the level up and it was, I was also very fortunate there. I, I think I rolled a triple betta fish which allowed me to pill with the banana and so the weasel gets a big injection of stats. I've been using weasel a lot lately for these stat swap type runs. I think the fact that it has decent starting stats, you know, you can get it on turn three, but also the fact that you're getting a little bit of extra gold, it can really help find, you know, the third frog or blobfish that you need in order to get the transfer. But here I decide not to mess around, just get the panther in straight away. I was about to buy sell the kiwi there, but it would have buffed the weasel instead of the panther. And then freeze up pill and bring in skunk. So I'm just going to keep scaling the panther and then bring in some strong ability pets in the remaining slots to try and get to nine wins as soon as possible so that we have uh, weaker opponents for the panther to try and solo. So this team kind of gives you an idea of what you would like to see is that relatively weak stats across the board but a bunch of snipes and so there you know the panther easily crushes them and now we're going to get a level up to level two so that means the garlic is now reducing every hit by six damage of course there are definitely opposing pets that are going to destroy this team very easily you know scorpion skunk i've talked about them recently um, I think in the hippo video, you know, anytime you've got one pet that you're relying on, you're in big trouble if you face a, a scorpion or, or skunk. I'm sure there are probably some other things that would be problematic, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. So here I'm just going to take the sauropod so that if I buy chocolate, I get a little bit of money back and it'll speed up the process of getting to level three. So weasel can go. I almost bought the monkey first before the crow. And then uh, we'll freeze the chocolate for next turn. I think, uh, yeah, we're still on full hearts. So if we get to the 50-50 level 3, we're going to have a few opportunities to actually find an opposing team that we could potentially beat. So I think, yeah, we're very comfortable here. And uh, take the chocolate. I don't think I need the lasagna there. We've got double monkey. We're going to get close to 50-50 pretty soon. Okay, we will take the uh, the chicken leg, even though it's only one extra attack. And yeah, Sauropod can probably go for Stego here. Uh, yeah, just a little bit more of uh, insurance. And there's a panther, so we don't need to find any more chocolate anyway. So yeah, I having thought about this for a while, and in Rev's video, he did use garlic. I think you could probably achieve this with some of the other perks. So tomato was one that I was thinking about, and I'll have a clip at the end showing a, an attempt with tomato. But I think you could probably also do it with popcorn. Because I think when the panther, level 3 panther faints with popcorn, it's going to spawn, I think it'll spawn 4 units. Because, actually I'm not sure, maybe it would spawn 5. Um, you would basically fill your board with... Um, Okay, maybe it's only four. I don't know why am I thinking it's five, but you could essentially fill your board with tier fives. And if you'd set up your pack in such a way to have all the good tier fives, then uh, you could probably win from there. And uh, yeah, we, we lose there narrowly, but now we're on 50-50, so we can sell the monkeys. 
and bring in something that can uh, push us onto nine wins. I'm also uh, freezing chocolate here and I froze the tomato in case I changed my mind and, start, and wanted to go with that instead of garlic. Uh, we're just going to look for something else to... I could probably just take the eagle here. I'm not sure why I didn't do that. But I'm also looking for the toy pets, specifically Gariel, because I want to get a level 2 Gariel into the team and then sell it so that the panther has the level 2 foam sword or, uh, or ray gun. Um, now here, this is a classic example of the type of team. You know, if we had tomato, we could have been deleting the turkey there. Um, but luckily the garlic was good enough. So now we're just looking for Gariel and uh, we do find it. But I think here I'm a little bit greedy because I've got the chocolate frozen. I decide to wait. You can't use alpaca. Um, well, you could if you had the other Gariel. And there we do, we find it. I'm just going to go with the panther as it is for this turn and then um, assuming I lose, which is pretty likely, then we'll get the gariel in. I bought sold the oyster, there wasn't really any need for that. There's no way I'm going to get a level 3 gariel in one turn. So um, yeah, the, the next opponent is microbe, so that's automatic loss. Uh, yeah, we'll just take that on the chin, but that's fine, we've got three more chances. So we'll buy gariel, buy chocolate, you definitely have to make sure you do it in that order. And we get the foam sword. Toy gun, it's not ray gun. So now we've got a little bit of extra support for the panther. And the toy pets have definitely made life easier for these solo pet runs. And just like I mentioned at the beginning, we get a perfect opponent. Snipes, which are all going to be massively reduced in damage by the garlic. And uh, there we go, the solo panther win. Uh, it didn't take too long to get that, and I think that's just basically the strength of Panther. Um, the ability is just so good. So here's the Tomato run, where I get to 9 wins on turn 14, and I've got the 2.66 Panther, so we also need to find 2 more Panthers, and we get them straight away. And again, I'm looking for the Toy Pets. And I just freeze the... Uh, lasagna there so that I can top it off to 50 attack and we I think we could go toy gun here yeah because we're focusing fire onto the back units it should be four shots from the tomato plus the extra shot from the the toy gun so unfortunately the next team is a big scaling team and yeah we're we're just going to automatically lose to the coconut as well I mean, like, just like Peanut and Scorpion, the, the Coconut is an automatic loss because even if we had Coconut ourselves, it wouldn't make any difference. And uh, I'm just looking for Gariel again in the off chance that it's a draw and we need to refresh the, the toy gun. I could have frozen chocolate as well there. I think the odds of drawing with a solo pet are, are pretty slim though. And then next opponent, not quite so big. However, it's Mantis Shrimp which is also a bad <laughs> opponent to draw because all the shots are gonna hit the one pet and yeah, not even close. So I think that can be done and maybe I'll keep going seeing if I can do it. But let me know in the comments if you managed to get a solo Panther win with tomato or popcorn instead.